Proven claims of voter fraud during the election reached a boiling point at the Capitol yesterday here in Pennsylvania. There's still some frustration over a race for state Senate with a very close outcome and no candidate has been seated for the job. Royce Jones reports residents in that district are now speaking out. Voters in the 45th district are currently without representation in the state Senate. The election results are being contested in court and Republican leaders refuse to seat the winner. And now people who live there are getting concerned about the fact that they have no representation on a legislative level during a time when they say they need leadership most. Results were not read. The results were read because I read them. read them. The swearing in ceremony in Harrisburg Tuesday exploded into chaos as Republican lawmakers refused to seat Democratic Senator Jim Brewster. We cannot swear anybody in until the gentleman from the 45th district removes himself from the roster. Brewster won the 45th senatorial district over Republican challenger Nicole Ziccarelli by a narrow 69 votes. Results she's disputing in federal court, leading to the Tuesday session standoff where majority leaders also removed Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman for trying to swear him in. The Senate Republicans accused me of not following the rules when I blocked their motion to exclude Senator Brewster from being sworn in. And it's like I wasn't following the rules, but they weren't following the law. Today, Democratic leaders joined voters from the 45th district, addressing the dangers of having no representation in the state Senate during this global pandemic and economic crisis. The people in uh, Senator Brewster's district were not OK. It's already a food desert here. A discrepancy with states should not overrule the will of the people. I frequently disagree with Senator Brewster on many positions. However, he was the better candidate and fairly won the election. Some voters express feeling ignored. The Democrats are now asking people to contact majority leadership and press them to get things going. We deserve representation in the 45th district. Today, PA Senate President Pro Tempore Jake Corman released this statement to KDKA saying Republicans are working expeditiously to solve this issue and are, quote, confident a brief delay in filling the seat for the 45th Senate District will not affect the balance of power in the Senate. Meanwhile, constituents in this district will continue to receive assistance with their state related issues. Senator Brewster was not on that call with the media today. However, I am told he's working behind the scenes and will be ready to resume resume his role immediately once seated. I'm also told that he's been speaking with attorneys about resolving this issue in court. I'm Royce Jones, KDKA News.